we look like a punching bag when it comes to uh, racial issues. For Rick Dukes, the number of African Americans warned by Cincinnati police officers about having marijuana compared to white people suggests a problem. The facts speak for themselves. It's a case I first told you about last fall. 90% of people who were not arrested but warned about possessing 100 grams or less of marijuana in November were African American. In December, that figure jumped to around 95%. The numbers are a little sporadic right now. Um, you know, we are aware of what uh, they show. Assistant Police Chief Paul Newdigate talked about the latest cannabis data during today's Law and Public Safety Committee meeting at City Hall. He said officers are still adapting to a new city ordinance that eliminated certain marijuana-related penalties. Marijuana has been depenalized, but it's not decriminalized, so we are still encountering people in possession in a number of different circumstances, but we're following council's directive. We're following what uh, they have legislated, and they are not being charged criminally. Newdigate noted that some warnings are the result of people calling police to complain about people smoking pot. And it's not just us. I mean, we still receive calls from the community about people possessing and utilizing marijuana in public spaces. And until it's legalized, we have an obligation to respond. Rick Dukes knows police have a job to do. He just wonders if that job is being done the same way in all neighborhoods. I hope we get better at it. I know we can. Now, in all, police officers gave out 208 marijuana possession warnings from October through December of last year. Reporting live at police headquarters, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.